Megan Rapino made a huge mistake. She says trans women should be allowed to play now that she's retiring soccer. Now, how is that fair? Obviously, Megan thinks she's a big deal because she's won a bunch of soccer tournaments or a few soccer games here and there. But guess what? She would not have won any of those games had men been allowed to play. She would not even be a known person anywhere in the world. So in Outkick magazine, this guy wrote a great article. Megan Rapino says she'd openly welcome a trans player on the U.S. women's national team, which proves how naive and narcissist she is. Rapino would gladly welcome a transgender athlete onto the U.S. women's team, and everyone who disagrees with her is transphobic, she says. Absolutely. She told Time, when asked if biological men should be allowed, you're taking a real woman's place. That's the part of the argument that's still extremely transphobic. People need to stop saying that. I see trans women as real women. So what you're saying automatically in the argument is you're sort of telling on yourself already and it's that you don't believe these women are women. Therefore, they're taking some other spot. Well, I don't feel that way. Okay, Megan, imagine if a man put on a wig and ran around the soccer field, which this is what Megan is ushering in for the whole next generation. So biological women will not have a chance to touch her records and her accolades. She's trying to burn the bridge she just crossed behind her and to hell with all the women in their wake. Well, guess what? The Simpsons already knew what you were doing, Rapino, and what you were suggesting. Homer, when male athletes are terrible at sports, he would go into the bush backwards and then reemerge, ready to seize the day. Megan Rapino, you have let women down and you should not be selling Victoria's Secret. You have no secrets. Also, you should not be selling Subway sandwiches because you don't want a foot long in your mouth. Thank you, Homer Simpson, for predicting how she would do.